and saw several people, several victims, both inside and outside the property. But at the same time, they saw lots of fires in that area and in other areas, in some cases dozens of miles apart. They were trying to attend all of these multiple crime scenes, and at the same time there was a manhunt on for a, a local businessman. Uh, people say they had no indication uh, that anybody would try and attempt this kind of a, of a rampage in, in what is really a rural and very quiet community. The manhunt continued throughout the night. People terrified already, already in lockdown, were told to really barricade themselves in the basement if they had one and to look out for this man. He was said to be perhaps wearing some type of an RCMP uniform, a police uniform, and perhaps in a police car. Police point out that this means that these acts were in some way, shape, or form premeditated. They also say um, that in terms of the victims, that he may have known some of them, but others, uh, the acts really looked senseless and, and absolutely random. They finally tracked the suspect down at a gas station. They won't say exactly how he died, but do confirm uh, that he is, in fact, deceased. Now, uh, the heartbreak will be coming in the next few days, but one personal story already, RCMP lost Constable Heidi Stevenson, a veteran of 23 years, a mother of two. And this is in the middle of this pandemic where people cannot even properly mourn, just trying to process all of this. Certainly it will be one of Canada's worst mass killings in history and really a national tragedy, which will be so difficult for that community and for the entire country really to cope with, uh, given what so many are already dealing with.